Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where it is quite late and I must be as quiet as possible um but here we go <laughs> why not every Asari has biotics might as well use them right damn that's a hell of a sniper rifle if you say so he just asks if she wants to become a commando. Although, to be fair, I think it's not really fair that Asari maidens or whatever in the maiden stage, they seem to be like, the game's like they're either commandos or they're strippers. And I'm like, they could be like scientists and explorers and like all kinds of things. Which, I mean, Liara is obviously. Oh, hey. I'm telling you, relax. Oh, yeah. Max will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Dun, dun, dun. I'm on a call. Yeah, she won't talk to you. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Did you... <laughs> Essia, that's the Asari homeworld. Citadel, Palavin's the Turian homeworld. Irun is the Volus homeworld. Kaji is the... Um, shoot, what are they called? The Hanar homeworld. Amag Tesseru. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Elysium in Dorshanshi is human. Man, I don't remember Amag Tesseru, Elysium, and Mindor. Unless those are like, those sound familiar. They're probably like, I don't know, call outs to something. Anyway, now is the time. I'm pretty sure for murder mystery. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. We'll talk to her in a second. Corporate security, what a life. Regular breaks, regular paycheck. Still not worth it. Killing on salary is too easy. I have to work for every job I get. Makes me really look at the job. Makes me care who I'm hunting. Otherwise, it's just another name on a piece of paper. Mmm. The only green Asari. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth Whoa. attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Oh boy. You know, technically the Thorian is a plant-like creature, so it could maybe regrow. That would have been a fun thing to explore. <laughs> Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. I mean, it's a, and the an Thorian experiment. is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. Exogeny should pay we for this. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? <laughs> uh, no, Exogeny should be helping them with this, honestly, if they're so interested. Or the Exogeny is actually backing this like third-party group because they want to continue the experiment. Wait a minute, Shia. <laughs> you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems I said were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. 
Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. It was a scam. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Oh, indeed. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. No, no, it's fine. Once diplomatic stuff has reached their limit, that's where I come in. <laughs> oh my god, I got two fists. One's named Diplomacy, and the other one is named... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mediation. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, I have to go turn off my heater. Okay, we'll do this really quick. Really quick, really quick. It's not gonna be really quick. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. She's so angry. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Ugh. <laughs> With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? <laughs> or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. I tr I think she's actually right. I don't think the Asari have ever caused a war. Like, an interspecies war. Intergalactic. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Oh. I should have... Oh. Hang on, I need to... I need to do... Well, I might have to redo this, we'll see. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never... You seem to forget that a human oh boy. saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. Oh, that us. was a what? You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. 
Mm. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. <laughs> 70 years isn't that long for, uh, for an Asari, honestly. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Okay. Whose deaths are we talking about here? I'm not speaking in hyperbole. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. This is rough. Honestly. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. <gasps> it's really heartbreaking, honestly. <laughs> she's lost everyone, you know? Got caught up in her work. It was Did the you get the star only thing she had left. Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Oh, we also do, we can. So that's an example of the Asari racism. Uh, do I need these? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll buy them. I actually can't remember if I need them or not, but I've got them now. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when they get back. What the silly family. gossip mongers! Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. I want to just punch him in the back of the head. I tell you what. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? No. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when <laughs> I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. What is that? What is that smile? Shepard. She's just a flirt. No, I only love one green alien and he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> this <laughs> this green alien? That one. <laughs> okay, murder mystery. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, 
Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. Mm -hmm. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to Truly. happen. Truly. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. They just have a very much stricter code than we knew. <laughs> Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. <laughs> it's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain, and they die before breaking their oaths. Mm -hmm. Nod. I have some very intimidating looking dudes with me. Yeah, well, that's just gonna- he's just gonna be a staple in this, um... I should change it up. But I really have been enjoying having Zayn. Do I... What do I want for this? Oh... Let's try it. Let's, let's keep trying the avalanche. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder, murder mystery. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. <laughs> Bunch of hardened thugs just pulling up. Scanning. Scanning the area. Talk to locals. Wow, here's a local. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? Hmm. The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. Wow. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Mm -hmm. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. <laughs> We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Yeah, he's very innocent, as you can tell. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dacny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. 
It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. It's not like, you know, he'd maybe double cross this group or anything. I should go. Aww, they're so cute. Look at them. I saw, so I like, th this suit is cool. Uh, the suit that the, uh, other woman was wearing. The other, sorry, those ones, those cop ones, they don't look so flattering. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Okay. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. Okay, I couldn't remember if the guy in the pink armor had anything. <laughs> he might later. He might later. I don't think I need any of these. I love her eyes. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for her you? Her hair pattern, too. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they are drawn to impossible causes. Then she'll fit in just fine. <laughs> if you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. Her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Yeah, no, this... Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disown me. <laughs> then maybe we should talk about hazard pay next time Shepard walks us into certain death. <laughs> That's about twice a day. <laughs> Voice. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my Your duty first. isn't to walk into death. You know what I mean? Like, your duty is to protect people. It's not necessarily to obey superiors' orders when it's certain death for no good reason. When it's probably like, I don't know. I mean, they are probably a sorry. So, like, why are they purposefully telling her to do something that goes against the codes, you know? Unless it's like a bunch of humans and Solarians and stuff that are just morons and don't know. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene? I'm gonna get my hands all Wallace over Wallace Merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but 
we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave a sorry space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt bolas. I have to go. Good luck. Let's find this Samara before the detective does. The detective knows where she is. She's just stalling. I love that line. Every time you say, Ew, they sh your superior shouldn't send you into certain death. Your companions always have a little quip, and it's so funny. If you try it... And I had told us yay. to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on back. Hey, wow, look at this right here. Let's get to ship the rest of Thax. He'll never miss... <laughs> Return to Alien and see what happens as a result of informing Mr. Thax. Oh, is that what I did? I thought I was trying to upload it to myself. Well, I'm glad I did that because the other option is to give it to that Asari that was standing out there earlier talking on the phone. Um, who was like, oh, they'll never notice some missing goods. Oh, jeez. This game is so shiny now. Like, so shiny. Like, look at these floors. They just really just went on, they just went right on in there. I'm too used to being able to have control over it myself. I don't know why I've been letting them do it themselves, but... Now I will have complete control. There's still one more. <laughs> they got past the police lines, but I couldn't. Oh, snap. So it did take longer than I thought it would. There's a lot of Asari here. Basically, everybody we talked to was Asari. I think everybody we talked to was Asari. Woohoo. We are on Ilium. So, anyway, I'm gonna have to end this one here, right? As we get started on the murder mystery. Sorry for my timing. It's poor. Um... But yes, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And really quick, I want to give an extra shout out to my patrons, uh, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Scalito, and my tree tier patron, Christopher. I give you an extra special shout out. Thank you so much for being the bestest, truly. Also, your comments always make me laugh. Like seriously, it's really, really fun. I look forward to them on every video. So thank you. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.